so this has been an extremely exciting time for the field of migraine. We have had numerous new treatments that have come to market. Over the past few years, the GP have been studied pretty heavily to look at an, a treatment option for migraine. Ubrojapan is an acute treatment option taken as needed during a migraine attack. It's a CGRP receptor antagonist that blocks the ability of CGRP to bind to its receptor. It's a small molecule oral tablet that's taken as needed during a migraine attack. Ubrojapan was studied in three doses, 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and 100 milligrams to be used as needed during a migraine attack. In the pivotal trials, um, they were looking at patients who had episodic migraine who treated a single attack of moderate to severe intensity. And there were two trials and they looked at either 25 or 50 milligrams of Ubrojapan versus placebo or 50 versus 100 milligrams of Ubrojapan versus placebo. The 25 milligram didn't meet all of its primary endpoints, um, so it wasn't considered to move further per the FDA. And so to market, we have 50 milligrams and 100 milligrams. Patients met their primary endpoints of two-hour pain freedom. Around 21% of patients had two-hour pain freedom, and this was higher than placebo. They also met uh, freedom from most bothersome symptom, which is a relatively new uh, study point for us to be looking at in acute migraine trials. Most bothersome symptom is if you look at all the associated features that makes an attack a migraine, the nausea, the vomiting, the light sound sensitivity, and a patient at the beginning of an attack has to choose what is the most bothersome symptom outside of pain. Is it your nausea? Is it, is it your photophobia? Phobia or is it your phonophobia? And does that most bothersome symptom resolve in two hours? For most patients in migraine, and we know this from other epidemiology studies, the most bothersome symptom outside of pain is photophobia. And so in these trials, what we looked at is after they treated with Ubrojapan, was their most bothersome symptom gone in two hours? And was it gone at a higher rate compared to placebo? And for doses of 50 milligrams and 100 milligrams of Ubrojapan, this was seen. In the pivotal trials, Ubrojapan was seen to be relatively well tolerated with a very low safety um, effect profile. Patients had a very low side effect, um, some nausea, somnolence at the higher dose of 100, dry mouth at a dose of 100. But this again was a single attack study with a small portion of patients a who took a repeat dose of the medication as a rescue, the pain was maybe better, but not completely gone, or the pain wasn't better at all in two hours, so they rescued with the study drug. But what really happens when a patient uses the medicine over and over again over time? So there was a long-term safety study that was done looking at Ubrojapan repeat dosing over a given month, and this um, study went on for 52 weeks, so one year. So patients were receiving Ubrojapan and they were taking it up to eight days in a given month to treat migraine attacks. And they could treat migraines that were anywhere from mild, moderate to severe and anytime after the onset of migraine. So this gave us a lot of information. How does it work when you take this medicine if the pain is mild compared to moderate or severe like was done in the pivotal trials? And we find that Ubrojapan works pretty well if the pain is treated at mild and sometimes even better. We saw in the long-term safety study over 52 weeks that there was no changes in the safety updates. There was no um, problems with lever function or dysfunction. There was no increase in the rates of nausea seen in patients. There were no other new adverse events that came up. And that was really important, especially for a new medication that's coming to market. So it's really exciting news. Um, and now this medication has been in our hands for about a year in the United States, and it's been really fantastic to be able to give patients an option to treat their acute migraine attacks that has minimal side effects, really, really well tolerated, that brings in pain freedom within two hours, but also does not cause medication overuse headache because of its mechanism of action. In the pivotal trial, some patients were able to rescue, as I mentioned earlier. And some of these patients were able to rescue with a triptan. So we actually have some data showing that if a patient took something like Ubrojapan, and then they took a triptan that they did okay. So in clinical practice, it makes us feel pretty comfortable to tell the patient, you know, if I give you Ubrojapan and you're not feeling better in two hours, you can go ahead and take a second dose of Ubrojapan because I know the data shows that you can actually improve. But say in two hours after that, you take a second dose and you still don't feel better, you can go ahead and take a dose of your triptan. So that actually gives them a lot more options to treat their migraine attack and it also allows them the flexibility of not having the fear of, 
well, what if this doesn't work and I cannot take my trips hand, then what do I do? I'm really stuck. So it's been really exciting for patients who I think have a lot more options now, and they've really enjoyed the minimal side effects. 